God bless you, Brother Paul. God bless you. Amen. Too. Wonderful. And a happy birthday to you, Brother Paul. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. birthday. God bless you. <laughs> God it's my you. eldest daughter's birthday tomorrow. So good people. Good to see you. Good to see you. Yeah. Let me get us on social media and then we'll say hi to everyone. Stay put, stay put while I get us on Facebook. Hold on. All right. God bless you today. Hi, boys and girls. Hi, everyone. Hi. So good to see you. Amen. So good to see you. And again, to Brother Paul, a happy birthday to you. Yeah, Amen. Thank you very much. Amen. You are welcome. God is good. Amen. Yeah. We don't take life for granted. When God says another year, it's wonderful. So it's good to Amen. see everybody. I have Reverend Eunice with me and um, someone else may punch in in a bit. Um, so we are glad to see you. Glad for the goodness of God. I will open up in prayer. Let's pray. Mm -hmm. Father God in heaven, one more time, we come to you and we say thank you. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for your love. Thank you for caring enough for us. God, you've kept us day by day. Great is your faithfulness. One more time, I thank you for the children of Great Hope Children's Home. For Father John, Mom Mary, for our brother Joseph, thank you as they care for the children. Now, God, we ask that you would be with us as we have this time of fellowship. You be glorified. This is our prayer. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, wonderful, Brother Paul. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, I really thank God for this amazing day and for this time. Uh, it's been very long. It, it looks like a year since we met in the last session. I thank God for the time that uh, I've been here at home. I've been very busy in these two weeks. I've been working outside the compound. Uh, trying to figure out things and trying to help to make things better for our children, especially for the economy that is that is there right now, and it has required us to work extra mile. So we really thank God for the opportunity, and I really thank God for our family of Shakaina Worship Center. You've always been there for us to stand with us in prayers and spiritually and even financially. May God bless you all so much. And um, we, we, we thank God for everything. He has been faithful. He has provided for us. We are, we, we, we are working hard and we are happy. Each and every day we count it as a blessing and we take it as a testimony to testify that the Lord has done it. So, and uh, I'm also very much happy for this day. Uh, I thank God that I'm able to live and my biggest happiness is that I'm growing older, not only by age, in, in age, but also in the ministry. And I thank God for what I've been able to do in my age and the position that he has positioned me to stand. And I really thank God for each and everything. So uh, we're going to, to sing the songs and then the Bible verses, and then I'm going to give it over to you for the lesson. <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, good afternoon, boys and girls. And again, happy birthday to you, Brother Paul. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. If I could happy sing, I would sing to you, but I cannot sing. So I will spare you all. I will spare your ears. <laughs> Praise <laughs> the Lord. So uh, unfortunately, pastor is unable to deliver um, an exhortation. So I will give a brief exhortation. And it was so good to hear each and every one of you sing the songs and quote the word of God. And you, one of your uh, scripture texts was from John 15, John chapter 15, praise the Lord. And I am going to read uh, John 15 verses, verse 12. And it says, this is my commandment that ye love one another as I have loved you. And that's what we are going to talk about. The importance of loving each other. And when we love each other, I'm going to try to say it as slowly and try to as simple as possible. When we love one another, we care about each other's, um, how each other feels, our needs, our wants. And so we put how we feel on the side and we are considerate of one another. God laid down his life for us. While we were in sin, he died for us. He did not look at what we were doing, praise the Lord, he died for us. And this is what he wants us as children, as young as you are, when you see someone in need and you have, God wants you to show love to that individual. If that person is sad, they're upset about something, God wants you to give a listening ear to them, to take time out and listen to them. Don't say, oh, I'm busy or I'm doing this. God wants us to stop and be considerate of how our brothers, our sisters, our loved ones, our friends. Um, he wants us to be uh, sensitive to how they feel. And that is my encouragement to give a listening ear, to be kind to each other, to answer gently to each other, and just show love. Amen. God bless you. A very short and a very good application. Amen. God bless you. And I love you. Praise the Lord. So, um, Elder Trot, Chief Trot, we will pass it on to you um, in Jesus' name. Well, good afternoon again, boys and girls. Another very day. I flew in all the way to Africa. I am so glad to be able to say, Brother Paul, I've seen you for weeks and now you're spending another birthday. That means you're getting just a little bit older. You're not old, but just a little bit older. May God bless you as you continue to do the work of the Lord. And boys and girls, the lesson that was taught today was about love. And it was because of God's love that we are who we are. And Reverend Eunice talked about how we can love by caring for other people's feelings. Sometimes we put our feelings before others. No, God put his feelings aside for us and sent his son. He could have kept his son, said, look, those people don't care about me. I ain't caring about them and kept his son, but he sent his son. So we as children of God, we're going to care about others' feelings, not just their feelings, but their needs. They may need a listening ear, someone to talk to. They may have an issue, whether it be in school, at home, 
but they want to talk to someone about it. Let's show them love by giving them a listening ear. Also, another thing that Reverend Yunus talked about was our kindness. How do you show kindness? Love in your kindness. Do you always have to have a lot of money to show kindness? Do you always have to have lavish gifts? No. You have a smile, and I've looked at quite a few of them. You have beautiful smiles. Give your beautiful smile to your friend that's feeling down. Give your beautiful smile. Let them know that you love them. And be gentle. It's not something that many um, adults even want to do in this day and time, but let's be gentle because God was gentle with us. Then we didn't warn him and we made up our mind that we didn't warn him. And he knew that we didn't warn him. He was still gentle to us and gave us his love. So now that he's given us his love, we can be gentle to others. God bless you as you continue to love one another. Amen. 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 Yep. Good teaching, uh, Reverend Eunice. Uh, good comment, uh, Reverend Trot. Boys and girls, I know it's late out there. I want to yet, though, introduce you to one person, and that is our Deaconess Carolyn Dallas. Deaconess, if you can unmute. Say hi, give a sentence to the children. Hello, everybody. I'm so glad to see you all. And it's a pleasure to be with you this afternoon, even though I was late. As our Reverend dear say, love. So remember to always love God, always love each other, and remember that you are all full of promise and potentiality, and that you are smart, and that you are beautiful. And Brother Paul, happy birthday to you. <laughs> Thank you. Amen. Thank you, Deaconess Dallas. God bless you. And our team is just increasing because we want to fellowship with you, hear the singing, and enjoy our time together. So thank you, Brother Paul and the children. Now, Brother Paul, before we say goodbye for today, is there anything else you want to share? Yeah. The, for today, before we can close out in our other prayer, we, we need your, your, your sincere prayers upon our home and upon our progress as we, as we move on. And today we're going to make a prayer as and together with you. And because your, your voice is working now well, we're going to sing our own worship song. And then we can pray and then I'm going to give you how to close out in our prayer. This, for this prayer we are making concerning our home, Sending our future and our tomorrow. Okay.
And so we thank God for that season of prayer. What a special moment to see the children kneel in prayer. And so with that, I join you, we join you as I pray. Let's pray. Father God in heaven, we come to you because you are our father. Your eye is upon your children. There is nothing that happens without your knowledge. And so God, one more time, we bring to you this precious home, great hope, children's home. You know the need, you will make a way. That's why we pray to you. God, all the way over here in Bermuda and the UK, we come in agreement. We agree with your word that says that you will not see the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging for bread. God, we ask that you will continue 
please God, thank you God, to meet the need of this home, that every child will know that you are taking care of them. So God, thank you. Thank you because you take care of your children well. Thank you because we have faith in you. Thank you because you've done it in the past and you will do so right now and in the future. Making a way out of no way, healing, delivering, providing all that is needed. So as our father and mother and brother Paul, as they take care of this home, you oversee that. You are above that. So thank you that your hand touches every child, blesses every child. And so God, again, thank you that we can approach you and have confidence that you take care of us at the end of it. And as you come through, as you meet each need, our response is thank you, Father. Thank you, God. We love you, God. We love you, Father, for taking care of us, your children. We ask this prayer. We receive this prayer because we believe this prayer. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 And so children, just know God answers prayer. That's why you must pray every day. I pray every day. Paul prays every day. We all pray every day. Because God hears our prayer. Amen. And so, Brother Paul, again, we pray that you've had a beautiful birthday. And we continue to thank God that he has you watching over the children. And we're praying for you. Amen. And so, until next week, God willing, God willing, until next week, we will anticipate our time together. God bless you and God bless the children. God bless you. Bye, boys and girls. Bye, everyone. Bye. Take good care now. Take good care. God bless you for tuning in social media. Amen. Bye. Best behavior. Amen. And keep on reading God's word and keep on praying to God. He makes a way where there seems to be no way. Blessings abound to social media. Amen. Bye. Hey, Cal. Calvin. Good stuff. Good to see you, Fala. Handling, playing those, the keyboard. All right. Good stuff. We'll see you next week. Team, thank you so much. Deaconess Dallas, welcome on board. Blessings abound.